Well, I think that uh, today is what has to be done. That's what we have today. Today we face a war. We face a war, so it's important that the, the defense side of our foreign policy grows up in importance. And uh, it's, a good, uh, it's a good moment for Europe to understand how the world works and that we have to be more united, not just by issuing statements and expressing concerns, but uh, to have an uh, actions capacity. We have a fund, and with this fund we provide arms to partners all around the world to train their troops in Sahel, in Mozambique, well, at that time Mozambique was still not there, but why cannot do the same thing for Ukraine? Oh, because Ukraine is at war, exactly for that, because Ukraine is at war. And I remember my staff to make a proposal, and they came with a proposal of providing 50 million euros. And I said, are you joking or what? And immediately we took a decision of a first tranche of 500 million, and today we are, we are close uh, to 6,000 million. For me, the, I hope the war, the war, they stop it. They have not a, a war mongering, no? Mm. But look what's happening in the ground. Mm. Russia continues bombing systematically. The Russian army has defeated, has been defeated. They tried to take Kiev in a couple of weeks. They failed, they have been pushed back. They haven't been able to take Bakhmut. It's a bloody war, but uh, the, uh, Russia has already lost this war. Ukraine has still not won. It's still not win, but uh, Russia is clearly a military defeat. Well, the collective West, if you can say, uh, everybody who is supporting Ukraine is part of the West. It's not a geographical uh, denomination. It's, uh, it's a political... Uh, Stands everybody who supported Ukraine it can be considered in the West. Although we have to take very much care of not dividing the world between uh, the West and the rest. Mm -hmm. Russia would like to be very happy if we could talk about the, the rest of the world is with us. No. A lot of people are not strong enough on the condemnation of, the, of Russia. They vote in the United Nations against Russia, 141. But later, uh, I hear some uh, leaders around the world which are not strong enough in the condemnation of the Russia aggression against Ukraine. But uh, it's clear that uh, when I hear people saying, we want peace, yes. we want peace. Uh, look, me too. And the ones who want peace more are the Ukrainians. Certainly, the Ukrainians who are being bombed every day. I was looking the other day at a military hospital in Spain with a lot of Ukrainian soldiers being uh, treated, being wounded, and mutilated. Certainly, the Ukrainians want peace. So don't tell me I want peace. Tell me how do you want peace? And what kind of peace do you want? Because, you know, I know a way of stopping the war. Which is? to stop supporting Ukraine. I stop supporting Ukraine and Ukraine will be over, quickly. Because without our support, Ukraine cannot defend itself. So, what do you want? Do you want that? Do you want the Russian troops? Because people tell me, stop supporting Ukraine and then negotiations will start and peace will come. Come on. If we start supporting Ukraine, Russia will push, will win the war, will occupy Kiev, will convert Ukraine in a second Belarus. We will have a tr Russian troops on the Polish border. Our insecurity will increase and, and Ukraine will not exist. That's the, the way things will happen. And some would say that's, that's big hypocrisy to say, don't send weapons to Ukraine. That will bring priests but we know that in reality would bring it a military victory 
to, to Russia. When you uh, hear that argument, does it make I you angry? I, I, I don't know if uh, to call it hypocrisy, naivete, um, but I discuss a lot with, uh, with friends and even people who, mainly from the, from the left in Europe, which bothers more me is that some people from the left saying, you are fitting the wall. You are guilty, you are fitting the wall. Well, feeding the war. No, I'm, I am supporting Ukraine. Yes, but I'm supporting Ukraine. You are prolonging the war. Uh, yes, I am prolonging the war because I, Ukraine is able to defend. You don't understand that if we stop supporting Ukraine, Ukraine will disappear as a free, independent country. No, man, the peace negotiations. We are ready for peace negotiations, but everybody who has gone to the Kremlin and talked with Putin came back with the same message. I have a military objective. And as far as I don't get this military objective, I will continue. Can I say the war? Yes, but what kind of a war? At that time, at that moment, is a systematic bombing of the civilians. Systematic destruction of a country. It's not an army fighting against another army. Is an everyday bombing of the cities, destroying civil infrastructure, killing civilians, kidnapping uh, children. This is the kind of the war that's happening in Ukraine. The world should look at this war the way it is.